Oris has been hard at work improving every aspect of their brand over the past few years and recently updated the Aquis in a subtle but meaningful way. And if you have been looking at the updated Aquis pictures and wondering what's different, I'll explain everything later in the video. Today we will review the new Aquis in the Great Barrier Reef Limited Edition 4, meaning the fourth limited edition that Oris has made thus far for the Great Barrier Reef. This one is in partnership with the Australian nonprofit Reef Restoration Foundation, which a percentage of each purchase is donated to. It features a vivid gradient blue dial, which captures both the turquoise and blue waters of the Great Barrier Reef from the air, and also refraction of the sun's rays through the water. And it also features a caliber 400 powering it. But will this limited edition and updated version be enough to convince you to pick up an Aquis? Or will you look at its competition? Let's find out. Welcome everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel, where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. And if you can't make it to our store, check out our cutting edge, user-friendly website, littletreasury.com, which is linked to our inventory in real time. All watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see our website or see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Omega Summer Blue Ultra Deep, which is a very rare piece that has a textured dial, which has a true representation of the Challenger Deep on it, since Omega made it to the bottom, and they let you know that with a special Easter egg on this piece. So make sure that you watch to find out what that Easter egg is. Wrist check time! Today I'm wearing my Oris Aquas Clipperton Island Limited Edition. I took the black rubber strap that it came with off, and I ordered a titanium bracelet for it, which does feel great. My wife actually got this one for me as a gift and I wore it in my wedding, so it's very special for me. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. Firstly, let's compare the old and the new Aquas pieces. The new version has thinner, more refined hands and dial markers. The case has been slimmed down and is more angular on the lugs and the side profile, with a more angled bezel and larger teeth. The crown protector has been slimmed down and the crown is significantly smaller. The bracelet has been reworked and now has a more prominent brushed center area and a lighter, more refined feel. And we have a new clasp, which has a push to micro adjust built in. Finally, the type has been changed in font to a new one that was commissioned by Oris and will only ever be found on the Aquis. The Aquas Great Barrier Reef 4 has a 42.7 mm case width, not measuring the crown protector, a 12.9 mm thickness, a 51 mm lug to lug, a proprietary lug pattern, but the exterior is 22.7 mm wide, a 32.3 mm crystal diameter, and it weighs in at 177.54 grams. The case is matte finished on the sides and has high polish on the lugs. With a screwed in crown protector, screw down crown, and Oris's proprietary triple pattern screws to hold the bracelet and crown protector on. The crystal is slightly domed and protrudes above the bezel. The bezel insert is tungsten and it's in silver tone with white numerals. Of course it turns unidirectionally and let's go ahead and see how it performs. The clicks sound great and they're very crisp, plus it has a great grip. Oris really does make a great bezel for the price point, and this new version feels even better. The dial is a gradient blue which goes from dark blue at the bottom to light blue at the top, with a brushed pattern radiating downwards from the 12 marker, which represents the sun's rays through the water. Oris can be found in white at the top section of this piece. The markers are high polished and are shield style, with an open stripe of loom down the center of each. The hour and minute hands are alpha style with a division in the loom on the hour hand and are in high polish. Aquas 300M slash 1000 feet and five days can be found at the bottom middle portion in white. The date aperture is at the sixth position and has a black background with white numerals. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour, minute, and second hands 
and on the pip of the bezel at the 12. The caseback is closed and has a relief of the Great Barrier Reef and has the limited edition number engraved as well. The movement is the in-house Oris Caliber 400, which has a 120 hour power reserve. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour. It's accurate to within losing three to gaining five seconds per day. And it has a 10 year service interval because of the low friction and efficient design. It comes with an insane 10 year warranty, by the way. Also, this is highly anti-magnetic up to 2,250 gauss. A Tesla car, for example, only generates 0.14 gauss. The Caliber 400 uses dual barrels, so it will be accurate down to the last moment of its five days of power. The bracelet is a proprietary three-link style with high polish on the outer links and matte on the center. It has a folding clasp with a push to micro-adjust. It also features a quick release. The Oris Aquas Great Barrier Reef 4 Limited Edition is limited to 2,000 pieces total. It's 300 meter water resistant. It has a 10 year warranty and it can be yours for $4,500. Now for my personal opinion. So let's talk about the updated design first. When I first saw the new Aquas pictures, I was a bit confused because I really couldn't tell a difference. But after seeing the new version in person and having the differences pointed out, the differences are actually significant and all work together to make the Aquas just look a lot more refined. Simply, the new hands just look higher quality than before and make a big difference for me. Also, the case is not as blocky, especially from the side, and that also makes a big difference. The Aquas was always nice, but this new one just really feels a lot more refined. Now, today's piece in particular honestly has one of the most beautiful dials that I've ever seen. And you know that I review a lot of Grand Seikos, which are the gold standard for dials. This one holds up extremely well against those for sure, and I love the gradient combined with the texture on this dial, which completely looks like you're underwater and you're seeing the sun beaming down from above. This piece also has the Caliber 400 in it, which is a refined version of it and should be very reliable. It also comes with a 10-year warranty, which is unheard of in this industry. So this really is a compelling package overall, with all the new design features and a massive five-day power reserve. So I'll go ahead and recommend it to anyone who really wants a truly stunning dive watch, which you'll always enjoy looking at and spending time with. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.